my template that I did, I measured 16 and a half inches and I cut one of them and then I'm using that one as a guide, as a template. So what I do is I set that on top of the other piece and I clamp it on and then I use that as my mark of where the blade needs to go. That way they're all equal. As you can see, this board is exactly the same. So I need 16 of these to finish the planter box. And then also I need the legs for the planter box. And the way that I do that is it's just this exact depth of this. So to get my guide, I just mark it on here. Keep that flush. It's easiest if you set it up against the, the rail of the saw. And you take your marker and you mark it. And so I'm going to cut along that line. But I also have a guide that I could have used also. Okay, now that we've cut the wood, the 16 and a half inches, what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a pocket in them. As you can see that what's showing right now, that's the kind of pocket that you're gonna do. And you're gonna need them to be rotated every other one. So what I did is I laid out all the wood. Here's all my wood. I laid out all my wood the way I wanted it, face up, and I organized it the way I wanted. And then I flipped it around and I, marked which row is which and what order they're supposed to be in and then that way they're all labeled correctly they all have where they're supposed to be 